welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Real Madrid taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed. Oh, could be. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the action continues. Will there be a quick response from Real? Determined defending. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Benzema. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, attacking possibilities. An alert intervention. Matip. And Diaz has it. Robertson. And could it be Andrew Robertson? Can't miss, surely. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Tony Kroos. And return to Vinicius. Mo Salah. Karim Benzema. Vinicius Junior. Benzema! And it's in! Beyond the goalkeeper, Real Madrid on level. So the ball is rolling again at 1 all. Switch your play. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. Chance to take the lead. Brilliantly blocked. Very quick thinking there. The pass not finding its target. Tiago. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And still danger here. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Rodrigo. Tony Kroos. Now with Benzema. Given away by Real Madrid. How can he take them on and beat them? But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Takes on the shots. It was an accurate free kick, but a fine save. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. 
Oh, good vision. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Making progress. Mo Salah. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Federico Valverde. Nunez. It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Oh, big opportunity! Salah. And with that, the attack fizzles out. So nearing the half-time break and Real Madrid with a bit of work to do. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, it's been a good game so far and they've played a big part in that. But if they are to get back into this, they need to be more disciplined defensively. They've just been too open at times. Really vital interception. Luis Diaz. Salah! Can they keep it out? Not a time for composure on the ball. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second Oh, the best. chance is on, Stuart. Tremendous reflexes. Thibaut Courtois. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. A move of promise on the flank. Beautifully disguised ball. And a goal! Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And Benzema wasn't going to miss this one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. That's a well-constructed goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Thiago. Gakpo. So the whistle then. We're up the half Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Aurelien Chouameni. Oh, that's a really good run. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellent in finishing there for all. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and this is Benzema at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. It's a brilliant goal. Testing times for Liverpool. Can they pass this test? Eder Militao. Here's Carvajal. Rodrigo. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Vinicius Junior. Possession lost. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Darwin Nunez. Well, those stats show us that Real Madrid haven't had that much of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. 
Gakpo. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Tony Kroos. Federico Valverde. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Surely! Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Vinicius Jr. Mo Salah. Real did well to regain control of the ball. This could level it. Great work defensively, but still Salah. Excellent save from Thibaut Courtois. Time for a change then. Who can they pick out? And the goalkeeper really exuding confidence. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Darwin Nunez. Opportunity it is. Oh, a goal! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Into the final 20 minutes. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Asensio. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Jota. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And he has options available. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will they profit from this situation? Oh, he's through here. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Vinicius Junior. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. Well, that challenge was overly robust, to say the least. Now we look towards the referee. What will her decision be? Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Jota. And now Rodrigo. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. In it goes to increase their advantage. 
And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Well, he might be onto something. And he's in the clear. And in it goes. They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Kamavinga. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Jota. This could square the game. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Vinicius Jr. Could cross it in here. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Could be threatening. Can't miss, surely. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance.